Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I did now, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't want to have to do this. But number three, and if you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe my channel, his channel, turn on notifications. Number three on our list is this mess right here. <laughs> oh God. You've got the oh, YouTuber, man. you've got the racist ass YouTuber who built uh. a following being semi-racist in a boxing match this weekend with Nate mm. Robinson, three-time NBA slam dunk champion who's exactly my height, five mm. foot eight and a half. Mm. They had a little boxing match, ladies and gentlemen, and Nate got his ass knocked the fuck out. Now, before we even go into the, the, the dynamics of the fight, what went wrong with the fight, Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to show you guys some of the best Nate got his ass knocked out memes I could get my hands on, and boy, they vicious. Sit back, laugh, and then we'll break this down. Undefeated. The internet is so undefeated. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. where do I begin with this fight? First of all, let me just say this. Like I said before, you got Jake Paul, the brother of Logan Paul, internet sensation, semi-racist, thinks that he's the Conor McGregor to the world. This was his second boxing match. Mind you, he won the first one too. And you got Nate Robinson who decided after playing the NBA for like 12 years or however many years he played, he decided he's going to cross over into boxing. Now, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, one of the reasons he crossed over was because he felt like athletes was being disrespected by Jake Paul, thinking that he can just cross over into boxing coming from YouTube. And so little Nate decided that he was going to avenge our culture because of how racist Jake Paul has been, and because I'm sure in the back of his mind, he thought this is a lily covered white dude, I'm just gonna beat him up. And ladies and gentlemen, he went in there and got his ass pummeled. He got our culture embarrassed. He looked horrible in there. And one of the things that I would have to say about it, considering I boxed right out of high school, whoever he went to training to, they didn't teach him nothing about defense, nothing. The only thing you saw Nate doing was trying to bum rush someone who's first of all taller than him, which you do yeah. need to get in close as best as possible, but you let the match come to you. Another thing I saw that he was doing wrong, every time he got knocked down, and the first time he got knocked down, ladies and gentlemen, that should have been it. The ref, he should have yeah. been counted down from the beginning. I'll say that. Yeah. Then the other thing I'll say about that is, the hit that knocked him down the first time was somewhat of a cheap shot. You're not supposed to hit somebody in the back of their head with the crown of your hand. But nonetheless, this was an exhibition. They didn't say nothing. Once he gets up, instead of Which trying to they let him a, back up. Yeah, once he got up, instead of getting a defensive position and getting his bearings back, he goes full bore running into Jake Paul, getting some more of that smoke, and then got his ass knocked out. I've seen a lot of people trying to say we should commend him for having the courage for getting in the ring. No, why? No, the F we shouldn't. When you sign up to be a lifeguard, you know there's a chance that you might drown saving somebody. When your ass signs up to be a fireman, you know you might go in the house and get your ass burnt up saving somebody else. When you sign up to be a boxer, you know there is a chance you might get knocked the F out like you on Friday. And that's what he did. What I feel bad about is whoever his trainer is, if he had one, you ain't getting him ready. 
You had him in there looking bad. Anybody who knows boxing is upset because, first of all, Jake Paul is not some technical boxer in the first place. His tech, his technique was better than Nate, mm -hmm. but he's not a technical boxer. He's still rough around the edges. And then you got embarrassed by someone who is now thinking he needs to get in the ring with Conor McGregor and other pros. And I'm telling y'all right now, the minute Jake Paul puts his foot in the ring with a professional, his ass is going to be eating the canvas too. But Nate, if you're really serious about boxing, hire you a good trainer, do some real deal sparring, and learn defense to go with your offense. The floor is yours, Larry. Man, I I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I got to give anybody props that's willing to get into a boxing ring or an octagon and go at it. I wouldn't advise it. I think it's one of those things that people should recognize that you don't play boxing. You have to nope. know how to box. You don't yep. get to play boxing. You will get seriously hurt. And and you could, as you can see, you don't even need to be in there with an overly skilled person to get hurt. You could be in there with someone who's just a beginner with with just some beginner skills, like like whatever Jake Paul, and you'll end up getting hurt. I mean, the dude did nothing. All he did was just bum rush in there with no strategy, no nope. no defense, nothing. Just bum nope. rush in there. I mean, I get it. You're you're the shorter dude. You need to work your way inside. So because he, he should have been in there instead of throwing these these big whopping, you know, these big overhand rights and these big, you know, sweeping hooks trying to get up top. He should have just been wearing that dude's body down. He should have just been right. in there, right. up, bam. But, but and just wearing but, that dude out, just living Larry, shot. Let, let me tell you something up. about let me say something about um his guard. When you box, you keep your guard here, you keep it here. His hands was down here the whole time. Um yeah. the, with shout out to Michael McDonald's training gym in Greenville, North Carolina. My people in the 252. When I started training in there, Larry, the first thing he made me do, he's got a door. A door that's about this narrow. Let me get my hand. About this narrow. And what you have to do is you got to learn to jab within that space. So you take your fist, bam. And if you miss, you're going to mess up your knuckle because you're going to hit the rails on the door. And not <laughs> only does that teach you how to jab, it also teaches you how to keep your guard up without being, without being um, adverse to moving your elbow. So your guard is right. here and the jab just goes just like that. Ain't nobody teach him nothing, Larry. He didn't right. nobody teach him nothing. And when you're shorter than someone, because this is what I had to deal with, you stay as close to them as possible. And Jake Paul, the thing that keeps somebody away from you is a good jab. Jake Paul ain't got no jab. <laughs> Nate should have been body to body with this bum every five minutes. You don't run in there like a bull. You strategize how to get close to the body. And the floor is back yours, Larry. I, I, I was disgusted. He embarrassed our culture trying to be Mr. Save a person. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I will say this. I will say this. I think that what he did was give Jake Paul such an over-exaggerated sense of himself that he's going to go get himself hurt in his next fight. That's true. Because, That's true. I mean, That's true. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jake Paul, when he hit him, over, he, that, that overhand right that he threw and hit him, bling, that first one that knocked him down. Yeah. I mean, that stuff, but the one that, because, uh, you know, he was knocked down twice right before the end of the fight. So that first knockdown, I think that was, what, in the second or third round? That was in the first round. <laughs> Well, whenever that, that second one was, the second knock, the second set of knockdowns, that overhand right that he hit him with, that one, that was a clean shot. And then when he hit him with that right, that one clearly just connected clean to him, put him out. He's going to look back at that and think, oh, man, that was clean. I know what I'm doing. He's going to get in there, and he's going to get himself hurt. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's talking about he's, he's talking about calling out Conor McGregor. Now let's think about this. I'm not giving Conor McGregor any real props because I believe that I believe that Mayweather could have put him down whenever he felt like it. But let's be real. He went 10 rounds with Mayweather. Right. He went 10 rounds with him. Yep. yep. Mayweather could have put him out, I'm sure, but he still went 10 rounds with him. Now, yep. Mayweather did come out and say, 
I'm not going to give the dude too much props, but he can hit hard. The dude does hit hard. And all I'm saying is you get in there with Conor McGregor, and I think you might seriously get injured. I mean, because let's not forget, Conor McGregor can't fight. He's not a boxer, but we've seen what he can do in the octagon. He can fight. And Well, like Conor said, Conor said his background before MMA was boxing. So that's why he was willing to cross over with um, Floyd Mayweather. But in all honesty, Larry, what I don't see them fighting, and let me tell you why. Both of these two dudes are QAnon's heroes. These two dudes are borderline racist, and all these dudes that love Trump, their favorite white mm. people and athletes would include Jake Down Paul, Logan Paul, and um, Conor McGregor. They ain't about mm. to fight each other and tear, do- tear those group of people apart. They're not about to do that. And if they, they did might. fight, if they did fight, the draw is not Jake Paul. The draw is going to be Connor. And so he would be mm. able to, in essence, pull the string. So let's just say they had a $50 million fight, Larry. Right. Connor is probably going to command 45 to 50, 45 to maybe 46 million of that and give Jake Paul. The table scrap. Of course, Jake Paul would be happy to take that because then he can use the finish, go ahead and mo- continue monetizing his social media reach and all that. But do I see those two fighting? No. 